Hello YouTube, Cyclone Dabid here with another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about the bike locks. Uh, I'll show you the bad ways of locking the bike and I'll show you good ways of locking the bike, so stay tuned. So in this video I'm going to talk about locking the bike purely for the bike messengers, bike couriers uh, perspective from my point of view um, but um, some tips will apply to any cyclist or even a scooter driver so let's begin so I've been working as a bike courier for a while now I think I've done more maybe 14,000 deliveries or something like that I'm not even sure now Anyways, um, I've seen a lot. Um, I've seen a lot of bike thieves in Leeds, and uh, I've seen Nick in the bikes, and uh, I've been chasing the thieves as well. I know about 30 people who lost their bikes at work, and uh, I've seen people who lost their bikes on their first day just because they weren't using the lock or they used the wrong lock. I see a lot of people using cable locks. But uh, cable locks just don't work. Uh, bike thieves actually looking for the bike's lock with cable locks. So the cable locks don't work, even the thick ones. It doesn't matter if it's kryptonite, if it's Abus. It doesn't really matter. Cable lock is just a cable lock. Um, with bolt cutters, you can cut the snip done. So thieves are carrying uh, big massive bolt cutters in their bags. Um, they just pull them out and cut them. It takes about five seconds to cut um, a cable lock um, obviously in the in the daytime it doesn't really matter if it's night or day they'll just do it and nobody will stop them because re the reality is nobody cares about your bike people will just walk by because people got their own problems as well you know nobody cares about your bike so lock the bike correctly and uh, it's it's your responsibility to keep your bike safe, you know. Don't rely on public, don't rely on the daytime, don't rely on the location. Your bike should be always locked. If you're off the bike, you always have to lock it. A common mistake um, unexperienced riders do is that they're, they're coming to the restaurant and they just lean their bike on the, on the window shop or just outside the restaurant. And they think if they can see that bike, it's fine. And and what happens next? Some scumbag comes to your bike, gets on your bike and pedals off. Um, matter of seconds. No, th there's no way you're gonna stop that. So basically, always lock your bike. If you're five seconds away from your bike, lock it. So like I said before, I know about 30 people who lost their bikes. But I don't know anyone, I literally, I can honestly say I don't know anyone who lost the bike um, using a quality D-lock. I don't know anybody who lost the bike using a quality D-lock. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that um, quality D-lock will guarantee your bike safety. Definitely not. Um, it takes about from two to five minutes to cut through a D-lock with the angle grinder. I mean the portable cordless angle grinder. Um, yeah, so like up to five minutes depending on the thickness and everything, um, the quality of the material, but it's making hell of a lot of noise. It's making loads of noise, loads of sparks, and uh, it's just asking for attention. I think D-Lock is the best bike lock you can buy. I recommend getting a D-Lock either from Kryptonite or Abus. Um, there's a lot of like bullshit, bullshit going on on the internet. I see loads of marketing bullshits like titanium blocks like extra light extra secure and uh, you know uh, don't fall for these don't don't be that guy who buys something new and what's not tried and what's not tested only buy what's tried tested you know and that works so once we established that um, D-Lock is the best way to lock your bike during work now we'll show you the ways how to lock the bike and how not to lock the bike. 
So this is another perfect example of how not to lock your bike. Um, so basically, first off, the, this D-lock is no good. Kryptonite Keeper, even if it's Kryptonite, it's no good. It's the cheapest lock, you can buy it for £10. Another thing is that the frame is not secure at all. It's just a rear wheel locked. So what, what the thieves can do, basically take the wheel off, keep it locked and take the rest of the bike. Then go to the next bike, take this wheel off, put another frame and that's it and you've got a bike. So this is perfect example how not to lock the bike, do not lock the wheel, lock the frame. This is another terrible example of how not to lock the bike. So this lock is so flimsy. You just cut that with scissors. Please do not use these locks. These are not bike locks. These are not. So this is incorrect way of locking the bike. So basically he secured his bike not with a D-lock but with a cable. So if you cut the cable you can get the bike Obviously the front wheel is locked with a D-lock, but what you can do, you can just uh, take the wheel off. Yeah, it has a quick release skewer. Take the wheel off, take another wheel from another bike and you're done. You can ride away. Thin cable inside and then it's wrapped with a thin layer of aluminium and then just some sort of rubber. And basically it's just illusion that it's thick lock but it's, it's really really thin inside so basically the bolt cutters going through that like through the vegan butter so this one is probably the, the worst the worst of the worst so basically you can cut this lock with scissors you don't even have to cut it you just have to take the bike's frame and just pull really hard and it'll pop out um, so don't be that guy don't use that lock don't be that guy So always lock your bike drive side out. The reason is that you protect your derailleur. So if you want to the bike one way round, you're gonna hit your derailleur and your gears won't work properly. So this side out every time. Careful D lock to just like this. This is the fastest way. Resting on a pedal, not on spokes, resting on a pedal. This is how we do it. Yeah, and I think the bike should be locked uh, drive side out so you don't hit your derailleur. Yeah, my derailleur, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm always having to adjust my derailleur because of the way that I lock it. Because I dismount. Yeah. One way, and it's just. I'd have yeah, to I've, I've got this habit now. I'm coming to like rotate the bike. Do you, like, do you dismount on the other side so it's easier, or do you just turn your bike around? Turn the bike around. This is a good example how to lock the bike. Basically, lock in the rear wheel, frame, and the D looks quite good as well. So, this guy has locked his bike with uh, two D locks. So basically the both wheels are secure, the D-locks, the frame is secure, with two D-locks as well. And on top of that he's got the cables running through as well. So yeah, triple protection, this is what I like. So again, this is a good example, but not quite. Um, so yeah, obviously the, the frame is secured with the D-lock, good quality D-lock. And obviously the wheels are secured with the cable. But use this uh, really flimsy padlock which is a bit stupid and um, we could have just uh, used the D-lock for that instead so yeah I give it a point so this guy went extra mile and he secured the wheels so basically uh, the wheels are locked with a, with a skewer especially the anti-theft skewer which you need a special key to unlock it. 
So there's a type of skewer and there's another type of skewer. So I just delivered food, um, but this lift is uh, too small to bring the bike in. So what I do, I always, if there's nowhere to uh, lock the bike outside the building, um, bring the bike inside the building, and if you can't bring it to the lift, um, just lock it like this, just... Always lock your wheel to the frame. That's on the safe, or just for a minute or two, no more.